Hey guys, today we have something very special. I've been given a free 2011 MacBook Pro, and today we're going to be finding out uh, is it fixable, and if it is fixable, is it worth using? So, let's get started. Okay, so first on the to-do list, as you can see, there used to be a ton of stickers on this MacBook, which I peeled off, except for all the residue is still here. So we're going to clean that up, as well as clean off the inside. You can see how disgusting all the keys are and all this around the trackpad and all that. The whole MacBook needs to be clean, so let's go ahead and clean it off. Well, as you can see, this MacBook actually cleans up quite nicely. I mean, you can still see the dent in the right corner and the crack in the glass, which is actually not even the right size. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get it to power on. Okay, so I'm using the charger that he gave me with the MacBook, so let's go ahead and try and power it on. Well, it seems like it's not working, but I'm not getting a light on this charger either. So uh, let's try a different charger. I actually just bought one, so let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so we got the new charger plugged in, and you can see the lights on over here. So let's see if it will boot up. Oh wow, I actually didn't even press the power button, and it's booting up. That's awesome, and it looks really good cleaned up. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it boots up all the way, and if it does, we're gonna go ahead and boot into recovery mode or internet recovery, and we're going to do a clean install of macOS. Wow, look at that, the free 2011 MacBook has booted up. Now you do see this uh, little green line over here on the LCD, but for a free MacBook, honestly, I'm not complaining, and if I were to try to replace the LCD, I would probably have to spend more money than the MacBook is worth, so I'm just not going to replace it. Aside from it's on the edge of the display, which is actually the best spot for it to be in, because those ones that strike down the middle are the absolute worst. So let's go ahead and boot into recovery mode, wipe the hard drive, and do a clean install of macOS. Um, and you can also clearly see on this MacBook that it has been repaired before, like the glass is not the right size for this MacBook. So that will be uh, something that we change out in the future, as well as uh, if this thing works well with the new macOS installed, we're going to install an SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and we're going to put new glass on it, like I mentioned. So stay tuned for those videos. But anyways, let's go ahead and reinstall macOS. All right, guys, so macOS is fully installed here. Uh, as you can see, we are in macOS High Sierra. Um, so uh, let's just talk about basically what we can do with this Mac. So this is the 2.3 gigahertz i5 version. So it's actually a dual core processor. But uh, I believe if we put a solid state drive and 16 gigs of RAM, which is what I'll be upgrading it to, and then, um, probably a new battery because this one just doesn't charge at all as soon as I unplug the charger it just dies like there's no charging this MacBook and maybe if I take off the bottom panel and take a look at it maybe it's just unplugged or something like that who knows with the other repairs on this Mac I would not be surprised um, but anyways I'm very excited to upgrade this Mac and uh, try some other stuff so let's just do like a quick little speed test here uh, booting up Safari and again keep in mind this is 
uh, with four gigs of RAM and uh, a mechanical hard drive but uh, for its age it's, it's not too bad but my but I use the 2011 iMac as my daily computer and uh, I upgraded it put uh, more RAM in it put a solid state drive uh, put the i7 processor in it for it um, and it works like a charm I edit every video that you see on my channel with that iMac uh, but that is actually the reason I only edit in 1080p because I edited with 4k on it for a while but it was so slow and laggy I just gave up it was taking way too much of my time um, but anyways you can see that uh, this Mac is working perfectly good um, so just stay tuned for more repair and upgrade videos and then I will make a full video review on using the 2011 MacBook Pro in 2022. Uh, my intentions for this MacBook to use it is one possibly to edit some of my videos on here but I don't believe with its dual core processor that it will be powerful enough but I am going to download Logic Pro and try it out on this Mac so stay tuned for that video as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Peace.